What's the lesson, Master? Live. Or die. Every time I get up, I end up on the ground. No matter how hard that I climb, I fall down. I dust myself off and I do it again for a cycle that I know will never have an end. Every time I do well, I just wait for the best. If I lose me around like the scars on my back. Looks like you don't have much left to offer. For a device that was pierced by a tube-shaped lava substance thing, this star map sure looks like it was sliced rather than saber skewered. Hmm, I'm just gonna play the clip of Balin destroying the map. Sorry, but the regular task of speaking into your comm stick would demand the necessity of a pocket perfectly placed for such a thing. No use to risk losing it in the folds of your front clothes like that. Everything wrong with Ahsoka, ladies and gentlemen. Hera put her communication device in her waistline. Mom, can I come out now? No, you cannot come out now. Your mom will ping you on the comms when it's time. Stay inside where you're safe for f**k's sake. This is why you never take children on dangerous secret missions. All right. Yeah, I'm sure you've taken seven steps and swiveled your head twice. I'm sure that's an in-depth enough search to determine your son is safe. First, your sin about him needing to stay in the ship was directly contradicted by the show when Hera told him he could come outside. And second, sure she didn't perform the most thorough search on the ground, but she didn't see anything when they flew in, so she knows there's nothing dangerous in the vicinity. We don't know this planet, so keep Chopper with you. Continuing to allow the biggest war criminal in a galaxy far, far away to babysit your son. If you think Chopper is the biggest war criminal, you haven't seen the Clone Wars. Putting the zipper on the back instead of the front. Pointing things out on the screen. I'm here to finish your training. But only as long as it takes for your body to be recovered from underwater just before drowning, so let's hop right to it. Okay, and the sin is what exactly? He didn't point out a legitimate criticism, and there wasn't any sort of joke there, so what was the point of this sin? One is never too old to learn, Snips. Matt Lanter isn't the one calling her Snips in this scene. Um, no. I love Matt Lanter's voice for Anakin, but live-action Anakin is Hayden Christensen. I won't fight you. I've heard that before. Pointing out that we've heard something before to make us feel all the good nostalgic feelings while simultaneously feeling the confusion of being excited for another moment when Anakin Ader force fights his protege. Discount Jeremy sends something he likes, cliche. I'll cover it. What good is a high rank if you can't use it every now and then? If you could cover it, why don't you just start with doing that when the dumbest senator's known to man declined to give you the requested resources? Seems like a move you should have led with. She means she's going to cover the damage control. How do you expect her to run damage control before she does the damage? Uh, sure. Yep. I knew that we'd suddenly found our way into another TV show altogether. Totally knew that before blatantly being told about it. I love how he complains about being outright told something when he constantly complains about not being outright told information. Jesus, dude, pick a lane. Why are we here? You tell me. Ah, I see we've immediately jumped from the teacher having one big lesson to teach to you must teach yourself without skipping a beat. Yep, and what's the sin? If you think that's a sin in and of itself, you're gonna need to provide a reason. Seeing as you haven't done that, I have to sin you. They were following my orders. I got them killed. You're 14. If someone put you in charge, it's their fault. This is true, but it's still not a sin. It's actually one of the better aspects of the Clone Wars era that the Jedi Order was not exactly what I'd call great. They forced literal children to lead troops into battle during a galactic war. Now again, I'll remind you that this isn't a sin of the episode, it's characterization for the Jedi Order. We're gonna press our fuel reserves. If I have to hear about fuel in a Star Wars property one more time, I'm gonna stop sinning this shit altogether. Actually, we both know that's a lie, but I will hit you with five sins for this annoying carryover from The Last Jedi. But The Last Jedi doesn't exist. There's no such thing as a Star Wars property called The Last Jedi. At least not in canon. Fight me, Ray lovers. The sequels aren't canon, and I'll die on that hill. You do things your way because you can. This is the same droid that gave Ahsoka sh** for doing things the non-Jedi way, but is clearly capable of comforting a rogue general. What an ass. Notice how you said that Ahsoka was doing things the non-Jedi way? Hui Yang, as a droid who has served Jedi his entire career, pushes for Jedi to act like typical Jedi. But Hera is not a Jedi, so that doesn't apply to her. People don't just vanish into thin air. In this world, they actually do. Yup, and she doesn't know about that, so I don't know why you consider this a sin. 
Seriously, why did you keep this in the video? It wasn't a legitimate criticism and it wasn't a joke, so now I'm just confused. What was it like? Listen, if there's any sort of backstory sh that we need to know, it's how the general here either doesn't know anything about Ahsoka's master or knows the name but has no historical understanding of who Anakin is or what he became. This is the sort of detail to dig into. Cut out the previous Leons and give me a few minutes of perspective on Hera. The answers to these questions aren't really in any of the movies or shows, but they do exist in extended canon, meaning they are available to you, which in turn means you can't complain about not knowing them. For a little bit of Star Wars history, Anakin was one of the most popular Jedi during the Clone Wars. He was considered a war hero in the Republic. Once he became Darth Vader though, most people just assumed he had died during Order 66, and they didn't know that Vader was actually Anakin. Hera was too young during the Clone Wars to really be familiar with Anakin, and Ahsoka presumably never talks about him because the memory still hurts, so Hera therefore knows nothing about him. Now, some TV Sins fanboys might want to complain about this information not being in the show, but Star Wars has been a connected universe for quite some time, so if you're not on the train by now, that's your fault. And this is why you cannot give lightsabers to children. Why? Because they'll make a badass fight scene? That's dumb. So I'm not sure what lesson Anakin is trying to teach Ahsoka here, but I'm pretty sure it's related to fanfiction demands for a Vader-Ahsoka standoff more than a need for character development. This is a great sin because it demonstrates what I said earlier about Discount Jeremy needing every little piece of information spoon-fed to him. Anakin's lesson for Ahsoka here is never explicitly stated, but it is implied. He's teaching her a few things in this episode. One is that letting go of her emotions hasn't actually helped her and she needs to embrace her attachment to others. Another is that he simply wants to get her fighting spirit back, which is sort of connected to the first thing. The last thing is that he wants her to know she won't necessarily end up like him just because he trained her. Ending up like Darth Vader is something Ahsoka has feared for a long time, so Anakin is making it clear to her that she won't go down that same path. Ah, stop it! You can only change my pants so many times. It's really weird how often I have to write this exact same sin, but the guy who complains anytime a show has a poop joke in it just made a poop joke. Hypocrisy is hypocritical. Jason doesn't react to whatever smart-ass remark I'm sure Chopper just made. Discount Jeremy points things out on the screen, cliche. Bring your bed sheet. Hey, that's two in a row. The space whales have essentially become the Star Wars equivalent of the eagles from Lord of the Rings. Discount Jeremy makes a pop culture ref. Also, you made this exact same comparison in the previous video. It wasn't funny the first time you did it, and it certainly isn't funny now. The Senate Oversight Committee is going to determine if your command should be permanently suspended. Wow, that's quite a waste of time. With that level of incompetence, the First Order could- Skip. Behold Ahsoka in her savior era. She flies. She speaks with animals. She was dead once. She wears white. Cue the clouds and sunlight for Star Wars Gandalf. <laughs> oh shit. Also, Discount Jeremy makes a pop culture. Captain, the reason we are here is because there was no mission. That's not true. There was a mission, it just wasn't sanctioned. And while I'm at it, what parameters did Hera violate? The X-Wing pilots came of their own accord, and she didn't use New Republic resources. She came in the Ghost, which is her personal ship. I'm not seeing any rules broken. What do you mean she didn't use any New Republic resources? Are you trying to say that the X-Wings are not New Republic resources? Even though they are? What? Peek into the world where these folks get fit for their uniforms. It seems like there'd be some int- Skip. Listen. Aren't you supposed to flee to Tarsus before you get inside the whale? Discount Jeremy makes a biblical reference that isn't a sin of the episode cliche. That's gotta be worth more sins than regular pop culture references. Evasive maneuvers, they clear up their path. Wow, not since Han listed lazily to the left have I seen such effective evasive maneuvers. This is actually a good sin and it kinda made me chuckle. <laughs> that was fun.